Hey everybody, this is the Street Monk. I just want to share um, with you just uh, my thoughts on a, on a, this one 13-year-old kid from Chicago. His name's Adam Toledo. And he lived in a, a believed to be a Latina community. And uh, he ended up being shot by police and um, shot and killed. And uh, as I followed it, some of the facts, it was just really uh, blew my mind in how this uh, 13-year-old boy was out 3 in the o'clock in the morning with another adult uh, carrying guns. And um, on, the, on the video footage on the police's uh, uniform, it shows that he's carrying a gun. I just want to tell you the, the dangers about carrying guns. My God, uh, be out, be, be on the street. I know not to carry anything that might be simulating a gun. And on this video, it shows the boy carrying the gun. Even when the police arrived, a lot of us with common sense know that, especially if you have a gun, don't carry it on you when the police arrives. Oh my gosh, it's just a one-way ticket to death. And this boy did that. You know, of course, it's very tragic, extremely tragic. And um, But the, I think the other dangerous part is the media spins it as it was, you know, he was just walking, strolling through an alley, I guess, you know, enjoying the three o'clock morning hour. And uh, you don't do that at yeah, three o'clock. You don't enjoy the walk. It's very dark, very dangerous. And um, the media spins it also that he, he was accompanied by an adult. Yes, what kind of an adult is what people should be asking, you know? And obviously I knew. I knew ahead of time that it was going to be some kind of gang member or some kind of crazy person because a, a normal parent would not allow a 13-year-old boy, a 7th grader, to be out in the street, you know, uh, at that hour of the night, you know, and uh, on top of that, you know, just, uh, you know, that child shouldn't be firing out, firing off guns either, so, you know, uh, news media spins it like... It was an everyday happening, but no, these these are most likely gang activities. Uh, I see some of it out here, and I, you, if you put everything, to, all the facts together, you know, this boy, it was as tragic as it was, should not have been doing what he was doing. Because I know, being out in the streets, that you have to be extremely careful with the police, because uh, just for their safety and for your safety. You know, even if they have a bad day, you still need to be, you know, uh, extra cautious. Do the right things, you know, and not uh, push them to their extreme. Because, you know, it's, it's, it, it can be dangerous to yourself if you're not careful, you know. And um, I don't want to be shot, killed out here. So we must uh, obey the laws. We also have to not taunt our police officers, they have a hard job, you know, and I know that, you know, and I get caught up in, in, uh, when they're not doing well, they're not feeling good, and I try not to provoke them as much as I can, you know, and it goes both ways, so hopefully they, you know, they're easy on us as well, and I think they are, but, you know, all it takes is to catch one bad one, uh, at a bad time, and you can get in trouble, you know, and, and in this case, this boy was doing everything wrong, you know, sadly, and it took his life, his young life, and um, don't trust the media, a lot of this media is false, I watched it, I looked at the pieces, not from them, but from a di different source, both characters on this uh, uh, video cam show, both of them had got uh, guns, even when the police approached them, so that's a one-way ticket to either heaven or hell, so guys, don't try that out there. And uh, let's follow the truth. Let's continue looking for the truth. You know, and don't don't believe everything you hear. Be very careful as to uh, your sources. You know, because you could be going down the wrong path if you listen to the wrong sources. So anyway, and investigate, of course, investigate everything. You know, I think that's uh, always important. So anyway, take care. This is Street Monk signing off.